What's going on guys? This is Goofy Goop the Balls, bringing you guys another Infinite Warfare tips and tricks video where I want to talk about how to win more gunfights by picking the right ones. And before we get into this, if you guys could please hit that like button and leave a comment down below with what you think about this video because that really helps support my channel. I really put a lot of time in these videos and trying to help you guys get better and that support would really really mean a lot to me. So what I mean by picking the right gunfights is in this video I'm not going to teach you guys how to have super godlike auto snap on aim or anything like that. I'm going to be talking about specifically the gunfights where you have the time to decide where, when, and how you engage the enemy. So obviously there are those gunfights that you couldn't have predicted and you just have to respond to those with pure reflexes, but a lot of the gunfights you enter, you do have the time to decide how, where, and when you should engage the enemy and whether or not you should. And to do that, you need to consider a bunch of different factors. Some of them include your position on the map. And some subcategories of that are your position in terms of the objectives, in terms of where your teammates are and thus where your enemies are, your immediate cover and things like that. Also the guns, the perks, the class setup you're using, as well as most importantly your own skills. How good are you at aiming, staying on target, controlling recoil, jump shotting, drop shotting, things like that. Those are all factors you need to consider when deciding whether or not you should enter into a gunfight and how you should approach it. And I can't explain all of that in this video. All those aspects, you could literally write a book on every single one of them, and it would take so long to explain. So I'm not going to do that in this video. What I'm going to do is show you the basics of how you should think through these processes, and how I specifically have thought through them in some of my gameplays. And one thing to note right there is that I'm not perfect. I definitely make a ton of mistakes when I play. But the important thing is to be able to learn from these mistakes, and that's why I'm trying to share them with you guys, so you guys don't make the same mistakes and can learn this basic decision making process. And I'm going to do that by showing you a few examples from this gameplay here. So in this first example here, I see this enemy run by the door. And so I know he's got to be behind that wall in between these two doors. And I go to check the door on the right and I don't see him there. And I check the door on the left again and I don't see him there. So I can be 100% sure that he's still in between those two doors behind the wall. I also know that because he ran from the left to the right, I know that he's facing towards the right on my screen. So if I went outside the left door and engaged him, I could kill him with pretty much anything. I could probably even go up behind his back and knife him. But just to get you guys in the mindset of this, there are some other things you need to consider. So location on the map. We're on the edge of the map and we're playing kill confirm. So there's no nearby objectives and we don't hear any other footsteps or gunfire or anything. So there's a very low risk of having additional enemies other than that one on the other side of the wall. And now looking at my own class to determine how I'm ready for this gunfight. So we know it's going to be a close range encounter because we're very close to this guy. So we need to see, is my class set up properly for a close range engagement? So I'm using an SMG, which is perfectly built for that. I'm also using Dead Silence, which is again great for close quarters because the enemy won't be able to hear me coming. And I'm using the Gung Ho perk, which is perfect for rushing with an SMG. So it looks like right now, this is going to be a close range encounter. My class is well built for that. And it seems very low risk because there's no real threat of additional enemies. So I make the conscious decision to engage in this gunfight. And like I said, I should have gone in from the left because I knew he was looking to the right. But even so, my class was set up properly. I was confident in my ability to kill him. So I go in from the right and I'm able to get an easy kill. Moving on to the second example here, I see that we're losing B. I kill someone outside of B and I'm using an unsilenced gun. So immediately I should have been thinking, well, the enemy who's on B, he doesn't seem to be preoccupied with anything. So because he heard my silenced weapon, he's definitely going to be facing and be ready for me to come through the doorway closer to that side which I'm on. And that was clearly a poor decision since I chose a gunfight where I was clearly already at a disadvantage. And because of that, I ended up dying. So on to the third example. This is actually very similar to the second example because we're losing B. I kill someone on the same side as B as the previous one. And I'm still using an unsilenced weapon. So immediately, to learn from my mistake from the last one, I should be thinking, don't rush in, the enemies are probably going to be looking at me because I was using an unsilenced weapon and they're ready for me to come through that doorway. However, what I do notice is that they are exchanging gunfire with my teammates who are on the opposite side of B. I can tell that because my teammates are facing B and I can see that they're shooting by listening to the sounds and looking at the minimap. And I can see that the enemies in B are on the map because they're shooting. So I can be very, very sure that they're exchanging gunfire with my teammates and thus aren't looking towards me. So because of that, I make the decision to run in and I get an easy kill and an easy assist. So for the final example, I'm just running along and I hear someone shooting at me with a high fire rate weapon and they actually get one bullet on me, but I manage to run a little bit past them. So at this point, it's pretty clear that I'm at a very significant disadvantage. 
This person's using a high fire rate weapon, which is most likely an SMG because most SMGs are high fire rate, which means he's well prepared for a close quarters encounter. On top of that, I'm not even facing the general direction where I got hit, and I couldn't even give you a general idea of where he is, and he's gotten one bullet at me. So it's pretty obvious I'm at a very big disadvantage, so I decide to run away. But because I know he's using that high fire rate weapon, and it's most likely an SMG, I can be almost certain that he's going to just rush right after me and try to get an easy kill on me. So instead of deciding to just keep running, which might not work out in the end anyway because if he follows me and I'm not facing him, he could have the chance for a very easy kill. So instead of that, I decide to double back and challenge this guy because he only got one bullet on me and I don't think he would be expecting it. So I move towards him and get prepared for the gunfight and this is really important here. I start aiming down the sights before I've turned the corner. That way I save the extra time of having to aim down sights once I see him. Because I know he's already there, I can just pull up my sights and be perfectly confident that I'm not wasting that time. And sure enough, I pull up my gun sights and right as I do, he comes right into them. And I'm able to catch him off guard and get the kill. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I know it might be a little bit complicated. And if it is, you have any questions or concerns, leave comments down below. I'll definitely respond to you guys. But I just wanted to give you guys the basics of how you should be thinking through the gunfights that you could choose to enter or choose not to enter and the basic criteria for which you should be doing that with. This is one of the most useful things to learn, not just in Infinite Warfare, but in Call of Duty in general, because it's going to help you play a lot smarter, get more kills, and die less. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, please smash that like button for me. It really helps support this video and helps support my channel. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button for more Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered tips and tricks videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.